Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be looking at the Runcam 2 which I received from Banggood. Now Runcam is no new name to the market and they have quite a couple of variations on the Runcam camera, uh, the Swift, the Owl etc and the original Runcam, Runcam HD. Now the Runcam 2 is the latest incarnation of the camera built for the FPV market or the guys who want to use it on um, RC craft of any type whether flying or not and uh, because it's got a low profile now I just received this from Banggood as I said and uh, let's take it what take a look at what's inside of the box I received the one in silver now they they, they do come in two uh, variations the silver as we have here and we also get a very bright orange and uh, right that I'm assuming is just the camera I'm gonna take this out and uh, we also have in the box a manual and uh, further we also have oh there's the battery now the battery, let me just open it up here, is an 850 milliamp battery from what I can see here. Yes, 850 milliamp battery, 3.14 watt hours. Now, it is advertised as uh, having a capability of running for an hour at uh, 1080 at 30 frames per second. Or, or and actually, they advertise up to 90 minutes. Um, but uh, it does reduce to an hour predicted if you run it at 60 frames per second. Now this little tag is just for when you want to pull it out. Okay, now oh, let's just keep that there. There's a little silica gel just to keep things dry. On this side, now the rest of the box except for that silica gel is empty. I'm actually just going to empty out the box completely and in here right, we've got two little grip straps or velcro straps and two velcro type or grip um, sheets but I'm, which I would assume is to stick onto your run cam if you wish to stick it down somewhere and these little nice uh, grip straps are for mounting it onto uh, any kind of platform. Now what's nice about these, they're quite small and thinner than your average ones would be. Let me just take these out here. Let me just out there. Right there. Right, these are little two sticky pads. And uh, these straps are quite a bit thinner than your average ones would be. I wonder if I actually have one. Yeah, I have one. I'm probably going to be using this on my Oh, my quadcopter, my racing quadcopter anyway, I'll be mounting it on there. Now let me take off a standard strap. Now this is your standard strap that you would uh, use on your quadcopters etc to grip things down. However in small areas and small spaces they sometimes are a little too wide and that's where this comes in quite handy. So yes, it's, it's nice that you have these straps which are a little thinner. Yeah, we have a little. This looks like a servo. This is a servo plug to RCA. This is for video, which I would assume if this is your video cable, which plugs into the USB on that side, and then you have two plugs on this side, one being video, this being power. Now this can actually be powered, uh, apparently, from a normal battery anything from a two cell all the way up to a six cell it is said but uh, check your documentation and confirm now this I would assume is to connect the servo lead that is pretty much that it just plugs in there and that'll give you an RCA out for whatever purpose or need you need that for 
Okay, so that's those two cables covered. Now, obviously, um, let me just see. Yeah, it's on the back of a little camera. You would plug in that there. And that is how you get that. So you can use this as an FPV out, or an FPV uh, camera. Now, the nice thing about using this as an FPV camera, it's got a pretty low latency. From what I understand from the documentation, the latency on 720p is 40 millisecond, and on 1080p, the latency is somewhere in the region of about 60 millisecond. So at 720p, that latency is pretty low, which is uh, quite acceptable. And uh, yeah, there we go. You've got a standard little USB cable, yeah, which would be also be used for charging. It's a short little cable. You can see it's about two hand lengths. I'm not going to measure that exactly, but anyway, there's that. And then in this little packet, we also have. Let me just check that. Okay, this is uh, a tripod mount, a little lanyard type thingy, and a spare lens cover or lens hood right it is, it is actually screwed down so should you damage this one in some way or other you can also add this or replace it with the spare one this let me just see oh it clips in in here right. all right i understand why they ship it that way it's for space saving so if it's clipped in and uh so you can actually mount this onto a standard, oh, there we go, mount it onto a tripod. And you can, for time lapse or whatever purposes I suppose you need there, it's got this little clip at the front, which you need to release, I'm assuming. Okay, push that down and it releases. Very nice and snug fit. Okay, this little lanyard can be pushed through there and the other side you could connect to your uh, quadcopter in some way in this case you could probably turn it around there or around one of these edges or the front so that should you have a crash your camera doesn't go flying off in one somewhat other odd direction now it doesn't come with any kind of memory card so you have to supply your own I'm going to eject that, okay, and your little battery, that's your positive, negative on the side, and it goes in that way, pushes it in, okay, and your SD card will go in there. I've got a memory card here, it's a Samsung Evo 16 gig, and uh, we need to pop that in there, so it goes in that way around, clips in. And the battery cover needs to go back on this way. It goes in halfway there, and it's going to push down and in. And there we go. Now, the nice thing about the Runcam 2, it also has Wi-Fi, so it can be configured by a little application from your smartphone or tablet. And uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go see what the footage on this uh, camera is like and uh, see if it compares to some other cameras out there.